So my name is Konrad Bohaja. I'm a partner in a company called Architecture Project. We operate from Valletta in Malta. We do a lot of work in uh, historic settings. The project was to build a structure outside the walls of Valletta in the main ditch, which is 60 meters high and which would take people up from water level right up to the center of the town. So all throughout the centuries, there's been, there have been a number of projects to improve accessibility into the town. Perhaps one of the most visible ones was a lift which was built at the turn of the 20th century, at a time when the presence of the British naval base in Valletta became very important and strategic. After the Second World War, the advent of air travel became important. The gateway into the island stopped being the sea, so the lift was practically obsolete. and. Um, was dismantled in the 80s. This was, situation was reversed recently with the introduction of a cruise line, a terminal at the foot of the bastions, and this brings to the shores of Malta in one day thousands of, of tourists. I would say the fact that no structural members which would connect the lift laterally to the fortification walls was one of the most important considerations, which meant that the, the lift had to spring up vertically and had to be designed in such a way that it was structurally sound. The, other problem which existed was the fact that Malta is in a sort of semi-seismic zone. There have been certain earthquakes all throughout its history. And therefore, it had to be a very rigid structure. And the staircase, which threads through the center of the structure, in fact, makes the structure much more rigid and therefore seismically strong. What I always say is that the structural problems and the technical problems, one can find a solution for. The trouble is, how do you find something which will age well will not look trendy today and be sort of uh, passé tomorrow, and which in a way will match the timelessness of the man-made landscape which surrounds it. So it was quite important to find a form which had interest today, which looked like once we built it, it was already old and would survive in time. Using the mesh helped because the mesh is a shiny contemporary material, it's aluminium, but it immediately acquires a patina because it reacts to the saline environment and since it's very textured, it collects dust. So it already when it was built, it looked like almost like an old building. At the same time, it's contemporary. It's extremely popular. We've been working now in, this, in the context of Valette for 20 years and this is the first time nobody, not one person, criticized it because it's a contemporary structure within an ancient setting.